This is a digital reading for the Pearson Edexcel Functional Skills Mathematics Level 2, January 2018 paper. Section A. Entertainment Park. Question 1. Vinnie works at an entertainment park. He earns £8.75 an hour. Last week, Vinny worked for five days from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Vinny had one hour lunch break each day. The hour lunch break is included in the times shown above. Vinny does not get paid for his lunch break. How much did Vinny earn last week? Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Vinny collected this information from visitors to the park. Gender, male, female. Age, under 18, 18 to 30, over 30. Time spent in the park, less than two hours, two to four hours, more than four hours. Vinny has to show this information in a data summary sheet for his manager. Design a data summary sheet for Vinny. Use the box below to show your data summary sheet. Vinny has to give his manager information about the number of visitors to the park. The table below shows the number of visitors to the park each day last week. What is the mean number of visitors to the park per day last week? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Question 2. Vinny updates the website for the park. He has to estimate the area a new ride will need. The diagram shows the rectangular space the ride needs. Diagram not accurately drawn. A. Estimate the area of the space the ride needs. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. B. Explain if your estimation is an underestimation or an overestimation. You must give a reason for your answer. Use the box below to write your answer. Question 3. There is a special offer for tickets to the entertainment park. Adult, ages 18 and over. Junior, ages 12 to 17. Child, ages 4 to 11. One day ticket, two day ticket, three day ticket. Buy your tickets in January and get 37% off the total price. In the Smith family, there are two adults, two juniors and one child. They want to buy a three-day ticket for everyone in the family. They buy the tickets in January. The Smiths also want to book a family room at a hotel for two nights. The family room costs £143.97 per night. What is the total cost of the tickets and the family room for the Smiths? Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Section B. Collecting coins. Question 4. Tina collects rare coins. This graph shows the value, over time, of two coins that Tina likes. Value. Year. Coin. Tina wants to buy the coin with the highest percentage increase in value from 1988 to 2018. She uses this formula to find the percentage increase in the value of coin A. V is the percentage increase in value. H is the most recent value. L is the value in 1988. Tina knows that coin B increased in value by 55.5%. Which coin has the highest percentage increase in value? Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Tina wants to buy a different coin. The price of the coin is £850. There are two payment options. Option A. Pay a fifth of the price as a deposit and then 12 instalments of £65.49. Option B. 
pay nothing for a year, then pay full price and 13% interest. Tina wants to use the cheapest option. Which option should Tina use? Show why you think this is. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Question 5. Tina wants to design a closing silver box for her coin. She wants the box to be in the shape of a cuboid, with square base of side length 5 cm, height of 1.5 cm. Tina needs to draw an accurate net of the box for a jeweller. Draw an accurate net of the box for Tina. Use the grid below to draw the net. Question 6. Tina wants to join a coin collector's club. The table shows the club membership options. Membership type, silver, gold, platinum. One month, three months, six months, 12 months. Tina wants to buy gold membership for six months. She knows one pound equals $1.28.6. Tina thinks this membership will cost less than 150 pounds. Is Tina correct? Show why you think this. Show a check of your working. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Use the box below to show your check. Section C, meeting venue. Cora is the manager at a meeting venue. She organises a conference for a local business. She has these notes. Conference lasts two days. 87 people attend each day. Things needed. Three large rooms each day. £459 per room per day. Catering. £35 per person per day. IT support. £94.99 per conference. Cora thinks the total price for the conference will be less than £9,000. Is Cora correct? Show why you think this. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Cora also organises a fashion show at the venue. She must work out if the room is big enough for the fashion show. This is a diagram of the floor in the room. Diagram not accurately drawn. Cora allows one metre squared of floor space for two people. She thinks there is enough floor space in the room for 60 people. Is Cora correct? Show why you think this. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Question 8. Cora asked 720 people for their opinion of the catering at the venue. Her results are shown in the table below. Opinion. Excellent, good, poor. Number of people. She wants to show this information in a pie chart for a report. Cora starts to draw the pie chart. She draws the largest sector. Complete the pie chart below for Cora. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Question 9. Cora organises a wedding reception at the venue. There will be 178 guests at the reception. Cora knows that the ratio of waiters to guests should be 2 to 45. She thinks that she will need 8 waiters for the wedding reception. Will 8 waiters be enough for 178 guests? Show a check of your working. Use the box below to show clearly how you get your answer. Use the box below to show your check. This is the end of the paper.